All right, um, just getting ready for a uh, another trip uh, going to to Charles Dean Wilderness uh, down in Bloomington, Indiana. It's about an hour and 10, 15 minutes south of here. Uh, it's where I went a few weeks ago. I'm going again with the Indy Backpackers Club and uh, leaving tomorrow morning. Uh, just getting some stuff ready, and I thought, you know, here it is all laid out on the floor. I would uh, thought it'd be a good time to. Uh, do a little, you know, quick video about what I'm taking. Um, you know, still trying to refine my, my process. Going with the hammock uh, tonight, uh, or tonight, tomorrow night. And uh, anyways, but I've got some new stuff here. So uh, let's, let me just uh, run through it real quick. Uh, actually, I need something to point with, but I don't really have anything. Um, if I get down too close there, it's, you know, it's... The camera doesn't work, so let me try this. Okay. This, well, let's just try this. This is um, my Thermarest uh, Trail Scout. Uh, this is a really small uh, chair that I showed you the last video or two. I just got a piece of uh, bungee around it. Uh, it stands up twice this tall, you know, and everything. It's by Buyer of Maine. They make uh, camping stuff. They make hammocks too but uh, anyways I really like it uh, last time I went everybody had a stool so I thought you know I found this one it was uh, super on sale so I got it uh, this is a 55 gallon drum liner um, this is my Thermarest uh, pillow I love this thing great piece of kit uh, this is a Condor uh, dump pouch um, this you open this up and it drops down into a huge bag that goes on your uh, well, anywhere you want to want to want to clip it. Um, this is my steak bag. Uh, in here is uh, the uh, about a half of of a spool of uh, number thirty six bank line. A couple pieces of uh, uh, a couple pieces of uh, paracord, including a really long one for my ridge line, and uh, four little stakes. Um, okay, this is a map of where I'm going. Just a uh, uh, black and white on this side and color on this side. It's just a trail map. Uh, it is topo, uh, but it's you know it's only eight and a half by eleven. So I have a bigger map of Hoosier National Forest uh, from them. Uh, it's a you know a quad map, but I I am uh, probably not going to take that. Um, this is uh, my pocket trowel in case nature calls or in case I want to dig a Dakota pit or a fire pit. Uh, this is a GSI uh, kettleist. This is great little item this is um, 11 ounces without the fuel canister that's in there there's about a half full 110 gram uh, snow peak fuel canister inside of here and there's also a um, a bowl and a cup with a cozy and a lid like a sippy lid oh and a spoon a little spoon spork actually it's a spork uh, but very light um, that is this trip that is replacing my uh, my uh, this this guy here. Um, last time I took this, um, this has got my fire kit, and then inside of here is uh, my cook set. But it's it's all uh, sorry about that. It's all uh, stainless steel. This is my guide designs, and then I also have a uh, Stanley Adventure Cup. Uh, with the handles in here, um, and then below that is a uh, GS or Ola Camp, sorry, Ola Camp stainless steel mug, 20 ounce. So 20 ounce mug, 24 ounce cook pot, and a 32 ounce uh, water bottle. It all fits in there. It's really nice, and and there's nothing wrong with it. But because I'm going with the backpackers and not the bushcrafters, I'm gonna try to go a little lighter so I can keep up with these fellas because they can seriously walk. So. I saving at least a pound or maybe even more. This thing's this thing's pretty heavy. It's probably about three pounds. That thing's maybe a pound. So uh, in here is a bunch of essentials. This is uh, spare batteries, uh, heat sheet, uh, a uh, medicine bottle, uh, a medicine uh, bottle filled with first aid stuff. Uh, also a roll of. Uh, uh, gear repair tape, tenacious tape, a uh, roll of, uh, you know, bandage tape, uh, a couple of tea light candles, uh, some extra cotton balls, 
um, extra batteries for my headlamp, um, and a couple pieces of out of there of my fire kit, like my fire steel and my uh, Vaseline and uh, cotton balls. There's stuff down in here too. So a lot of stuff in here. Just a little little sack I made actually. Um, this is uh, headwear. I'm gonna take my beanie to sleep in. Take my uh, shabag just just cause it's a great thing to have. Um, okay, uh, let's see which one's which here. Well, they're about the same, but this uh, is these are both REI 21 liter uh, compression sacks. I uh, really like those. They're they're thin, but uh, pretty nice. Actually, this one rolled into the creek last time I was out back with it, and it. Uh, protected my bag from getting wet. I, I grabbed it right away so it didn't, you know, it's not like it soaked in there and it was only about an inch of water, but it did good. Anyways, in here is my MSS, uh, the black bag. Uh, there's the green one. It's staying here. I'm just taking the black bag because I'm taking the hammock. So, in this stuff sack is my USGI uh, poncho liner underquilt. Do-it-yourself uh, underquilt. I've got uh, support ropes and uh, shock cord and stuff and I kind of pieced it together and it uh, works pretty good so it's only supposed to get down to 28 29 uh, tomorrow night so should be fine um, also in here is my set of poly pros and a pair of wool socks for and that is my sleepwear so uh, this is a wool blanket that I always take and this is my reflectix pad that goes between the trail scout reflectix then the wool blanket and that all goes in the bottom of my uh, laying flat in the bottom of my hammock the under quilt goes around it the poly pros go on me and then I, I use this uh, flipped upside down with a zipper in the center and underneath and I stick my feet in it and, you, and leave it open and use it as a top quilt and it works pretty good so far I've uh, spent a couple nights out like that um, these are uh, down uh, booties. These are from Cabela's. I just got those on clearance for 20 bucks. Roger Alt from the Indie Backpackers Club will uh, appreciate that. I got the idea from him. This is my buck saw. I'll be taking this so I can process some firewood because we are going to have a fire. And this is my tarp. This is brand new. I just got this today. This is uh, Inexpensive, you know, I didn't get a Silna tarp or anything like that. Uh, this is a 10 by 10. Uh, this is a uh, Etowah gear. Um, they make the Bushcraft USA tarp. So this is basically a forest green Bushcraft USA uh, nylon tarp. So it's not the Silna. It's a third of the price. Um, you know, so I got this one. Uh, but it's 10 by 10. And my other tarp, my poncho tarp, is only 7 by 7, and it just will not cover the hammock. And, uh... You never know. It might rain. You know, I just, uh, I, I, I just, you know, need more coverage. So, there's my ex officio bug shield hat, and I got it on sale a couple years ago at Orvis. That's my my fishing hat, and it's all going in there. This is uh, the REI Crest Trail 48. Very nice pack. Very very pleased with it. I like it a lot. It's got a bottom access. It's got a nice uh, stretchy thing uh, up front here that you can stick stuff in, side pockets, uh, in fact, I think, yeah, my Baco Laplander saw is in there, um, I don't know if I'm going to take that, and the, uh, the, uh, what you call it, it's probably not a good idea, but, uh, anyways, side pockets, one big bucket, it's got a, uh, clip in a bladder, uh, pouch with, uh, access on, uh, oh, where is it at, on both sides, there's the other one. Um, this is the lid. It's got a floating lid. Uh, I've already got some stuff in here. I guess I didn't uh, go over that. I got a flashlight, a uh, headlamp, a book, and um, some toilet paper in here. And then here's a little uh, extra flashlight. And uh, just to show you, this is the back. Uh, or you know, here's the uh, straps. Very nice uh, two-point double wishbone uh, straps, front pull to tighten. Uh, nice stuff here. It's adjustable. You can velcro this out and pull it up or down. Uh, it's set for me. I had them measure me. So uh, very, very nice. Much better than my old pack. Uh, in fact, a month ago when I went, I barely could walk out. It was horrible. I was very embarrassed uh, with my old self. And uh, 
this time I uh, should be a lot better off with this thing. So, anyways, oh, food bag. Uh, this just has uh, probably too much food. Just got some snacks, granolas, Rice Krispie treats, uh, some ramen, uh, a couple of oatmeals, a few hot chocolates, and a uh, you know uh, a rag and my canister stove, my micro pocket rocket knockoff stove and stuff is in here so this is a food bag you know I like to put it in one of these in case I need to hang it up I uh, don't have a lot of bears around here so it's not really an issue but you never know just good to have it in one of those little sacks I got a few of them um, so anyways that's uh, there's what I'm taking uh, once I get these bigger items in this stuff should go on top of that and uh, usually uh, uh, this will go on the side, and then the wool blanket, uh, there are uh, straps on the, uh, sorry, right here. You can either go uh, underneath, or I usually put it right there. So it sits right across there, be my, my uh, wool blanket. So uh, <clears throat> I'll probably put the, the, uh, the buck saw and this in uh, one of these side pockets because I don't put water bottles in there because I have a uh, two liter bladder there's the two liter platypus that's downstairs uh, I'm leaving my bush pot here um, I'm also leaving my other tarp my poncho tarp here um, a little five by eight of course I leave here um, oh also going with me uh, downstairs is my hammock uh, it's in a small little sack about about this size maybe a little bigger uh, that'll fit in here too uh, and what else oh I got a new Tyvek ground cloth I ordered from z -Packs. it's uh, four and a half by seven and a half and that is replacing mm, where is it at uh, this thing right here this old eight by ten uh, poly tarp that I took last time there's my old uh, pack it's not old I've only had it a few months but it was only 25 bucks and it was not up to the cho up to the task so it's going to be my knock around pack so my day pack so anyways all right that's enough rambling and i will uh take some more shots tomorrow when i'm actually on the trip <laughs> all right